Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Wit's hungover and she just had a bagel sandwich. I'm like sorta of hungover, but also body's really sore because yesterday I played tennis and golf <laughs> and it hurts my ribs. So. Oh, you know, it's like the, the life of an athlete, of an amateur athlete. <laughs> what I wanted to say to you before is I think mm -hmm. my long-term eating ideal would be to sort of maintain this diet, mm -hmm. not as strict, but be able to like eat one of Sonny's chicken fingers and a couple bites of that yeah. anytime I want. Yeah. That's how you stay healthy, guys. Our hot girl summer was coming to an end, and things had just taken a turn for the unexpected. For starters, Kelsey and Garrett are a thing again. All right, that's the promise kiss right there. All right. But that wasn't the weirdest thing on the trip. Rumor has it that Alex came to Nashville to get back with me. And in true Alex fashion, he lost his mind when he heard about the rumor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But only someone with a guilty conscience would make such a scene, right? I didn't say that I'm specifically coming here to hang out with Juliet. And just when things couldn't get any messier, Amanda turned on me and Chloe. You are two of the biggest I've ever met. Something about Nashville was making everyone crazy. Oh my God, please me up. Can Amanda hop off of Alex's I wish I could say that I was innocent in all of this, but I was holding on to the biggest secret of all. Awesome. All right, did it guys. That's just pure reaction. at their corporate housing <laughs> hotel slash apartments. Like, even better question, girl. Will you take my face off? Take your face off. Can you take my face off, please? Couch it. It's like peeling your skin off. Have you ever heard of a sheet mask? Yeah. Last night was kind of a blur, and I did something I'm not super proud of, but I'm not ready to say it out loud yet. Oh, sh Last night was interesting. Did she hook up with, did she hook up with Alex? Who? Juliet. Oh, Oh my god, tisk tisk. Brandon did such a good job. Mm, okay, so so the last thing I remember, me, you, and Amanda got in that huge fight. She was yeah. all over Alex. Yeah. He was like touching his neck and stuff. I'm like, so weird. what is going on right now? It just yeah. felt odd. Like, I don't touch people ever like that that much. Yeah. Ever that much, sometimes I do. To who? JJ? Oh, just... With no other messages in the thread. Oh my God. Everything deleted. Also, his phone battery was dangerously low. Like, he did not charge it overnight. It's gonna be a pain for him all day. He's living on the edge, like me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is a real sign of living on the edge. If you or anyone you know has low battery in the morning time. It's me, that's me. Call 1-800-GET-HELP-FOR-THEM now. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> I know, ew, he is yeah. such a Shrek. You love, you love him. Thanks for meeting me. I know what everyone is thinking. Why are Alex and I meeting up? All I can say is, it's complicated. So, so last night was fun, huh? How are you doing? I'm good. You know, I'm glad you're here, so now we can actually talk away from everyone else. No, yeah, I'm happy you texted me. I had fun last night. I did too. So, yeah. Oh. Alex and I hooked up last night. Like I said, complicated, right? She wasn't ready to tell us until 25 <laughs> seconds later. Yeah. <laughs> so have you talked to Alyssa today? Uh, it is what it is. <sighs> yeah. 
are you going to tell her? Well, ADR. Yeah. For those who don't that know ADR, was. it's additional like voiceover put in after the fact. So he didn't say I don't. He may not have said I don't know to that question. I mean, I don't think in this moment, the next morning, he was ready to admit that he he did that, and then right. they like got Juliet that was happy to tell that story, and like and then he VO. recorded ADR. Yeah. Look, like I have a girlfriend. I'm happy with her, but I still like have a heart for you. You know. Yeah, I mean, before you got here, Paul was saying you were coming for me and you want to get back together. So was he serious? I mean... He was like, I'm coming to hook up with you. <laughs> so confused. We both care about each other. It's pretty obvious. I just think that we're, like, young, and we were in a really serious relationship, and feelings were really strong, and it just, it's, you know, it's life. We should just let the past go completely, try to let go of all the things we did that hurt each other, you know? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to tell your girlfriend about what Look, happened? We're in a different chapter in our lives, but of course I light up every time you come around. I'm looking at you. Yeah, it's like, no, we do not like this love story. No. I'm not the type of guy that's like going to close the door. I always leave it cracked. Yeah. Your yeah, yeah, you're a D bag. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, the door's always a little bit open for you. Yeah. We're in a good place right now. It actually is like a huge weight off my shoulders. I really agree more, honestly. Maybe it was like the, sh the closure yeah, like she needed and they needed. <laughs> One last hoorah. Yeah, dinner. And nobody knows, and all of a sudden they're just like cool. Your side of the table, Juliet. Honestly, I still can't believe what a bad friend Amanda is turning out to be. But she already ruined she's last night. She's acting super so weird. Yeah, she's being a biatch. Yeah. This looks good. Yeah. I'm just gonna say right now that this is. What is this restaurant called? Ethan Ocean. Yeah, I think so. Wasn't that a TV show? <laughs> also, um, why are they at two different tables? Because there's so many of them. Bad, right, bad. Bad producing. Bad. Bad on you. But thank you for letting us use your show. We're sorry. Like, what yeah. could we ever fight about? I mean, I'm the most Cheers, confrontational guys. out of all of you, but with all of you around me, I'm fine. It is. I like it. I like it. Good table. Seriously, dude. Amanda, do you even remember anything from last night? A little bit. Do you? It's like a puzzle that I'm missing a lot of pieces, so I'm trying to. Amanda was. Wasted. Well, you can blame this guy for that. So <laughs> we were feeding off each other's energy all night. So yeah, no. <laughs> Chloe, don't get jealous. I'm not getting jealous, girl. Do you want to suck his <gasps> or what? Oh, you're oh. dirty. Annie. Yeah. Girl, I mean, I already have, but like mm. that's a good comeback, <laughs> dog. Don't be so proud. <laughs> no. I, I literally that. can't not hear them. Yeah, it's distracting. <laughs> it's really, it's just like rude and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yeah. You're being a lot, girl. You were a lot last night. Well, girl, you were not very nice. Neither are you. Chloe, I literally deal but, with that on a daily basis on my life with you. Are you. So for one with night, me? if you can't take one night of me treating you the way you treat me every day, then you, you shouldn't be friends you with me. You literally mm -hmm. told Julia and I that we are the two fakest on you her. are, but I still love you. Okay, well, I don't want to be friends with you if that's the case. Chloe doesn't like people treating her the same way she treats everyone. Okay, girl. So can we, can we just like, very can we all just like facts. realize that? You're the only one. So like, stop no, acting literally. like everyone feels this way. Do you have a problem with me? Come on, no, no, no. We're, not, we're actually not going to pass the torch Well, tonight. that's so rude to say that everyone feels that way. They literally do. They just won't tell you. I'm the only one that has the balls enough to tell you straight to your face. All right, well, all the girls can't you're stand welcome. you, and they think you're thirsty as uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh! 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 Oh
it to all moments. Too much? Because so Chloe's telling me that you all don't like me and you're, I'm too much for you. What? No, just trying to eat dinner, bye. <laughs> I think this whole group is a little too much. Last night, you were too much. I agree, I was. Guys, give her a rest. I, I think right, genuinely you're just like a louder person than I'm used to. And you I feel all like there's other people, th not. this is a restaurant, there's other do people eating no, Chloe, here. Where's no, Polly? Chloe's not as loud as yeah. you. Jesus Christ. Polly served his purpose and then they sent him back to the boys, the boys house, yeah. <laughs> For 10 seconds, guys, self destruct. Guys, 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 guys. I don't want this to turn into an explosion. Should I just break um, it? No. I got some, I got some. Oh, no. I didn't see. Got some uh, crab meat on your <laughs> bottom lip, dude. Where are you going? I'm gonna take a sh. Coming up. I am a little uncomfortable, Alex and Juliet, like being together in Nashville. People gave me sh because I said that when she came down to like talk to Alex's parents without a bra on, that they were like, it's boobs, like let him go. Like, and I, I, yeah, okay, my bad. Yeah. It's very hard. Ah. Oh, oh. so sweet. Thank you for letting me know. These assholes have been looking at me probably <laughs> all night. Jealousy is <laughs> such a b. You know, my Speaking of Hi, Chloe, welcome back. Ew. Can you stop with the rude comments. Yeah. Yes. Calling me rude. I haven't wow. said one rude thing. Yeah, but like Amanda's, Amanda's like argument is, Chloe, you're often rude, so I can say whatever I want. Like, no, no, no. Nobody's buying that. Mm -mm. Today. No. In the past hour. And you don't just start acting like someone who you think is misbehaving. Right. <laughs> How have you been, Madison? I gotta ask. You know, what's the deal with like you and Ish? I haven't talked to him. Ish made it very clear that we are not in contact, so I am doing just that. Well, that's what Ish wants, but what do you want? Obviously, I would love to talk to him, but I'm is this not real? Move. Mm, in what way? Like, do you think they're really broken up? Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't be able to produce Ish. Okay. Like, I don't know, but at least I know he's literally in the middle of nowhere in Nova Scotia, so, like, he can't be around that many. He has something under his shirt. No, I know. I'm not trying to be nitpicky, but... I mean, Nova Scotia, it sounds like they might be doing some crazy things out there. No! But I know he's thinking about you. The last time I saw Ish, I know he was all about you. That's nice, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I don't want to fight with you. Like, I really don't want to fight. Please. Leave me the f*** alone. Thank you. Guys, come on. I can't believe people talk like this. She's, she's like, yeah, someone got in her ear. I was like, time to earn your spot, you know? Yeah. You have a confession to make. I went on a walk with Juliet today, and I think we're both like actually seeing eye to eye for once. I was like, look, obviously I, I care about you. I do. And she was basically on the same page. Like, I don't want to hate you. Can you know I ask you a mean? question? Yeah. Does it change your feelings? Like, do you still want to be with Alyssa? Is this a real song? Yeah, it's a good one. My feet Might are chilling. Let's sit down. Alex's dad and Alyssa's dad like are college roommates. Mm -hmm. So Alyssa's known Beth her entire life. And they're really close. Okay, so it's Did okay. Did you try that mermaid vodka that's made here? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yes. What's the, good here? The meat salad. <laughs> I haven't talked to Alex, so I don't know. If what they're up to, or they having fun. There's no telling. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's like with his old friends and all, but like, but are you obviously I'm a little uncomfortable like with Alex and Juliet, like being together in Nashville. Totally understandable. I do trust him. I just do not trust her, like at all. Right, right. Good team, Mom. Dude, I love Alyssa. She's a great person too, like, ah. Uh. That's she not answering the question. What am I, on trial? All right, back off. Yeah. Listen, they're out of a relationship that went on for a long time, and there might have been still some feelings there, but I truly believe this relationship's over. I think they both realized it wasn't good for either one of them. I would be lying if I said Juliet left my mind entirely. She hasn't. Like, like last night. I mean, when I was up getting water, <gasps> I saw Juliet grab you out of our hotel. What'd you guys go do? Oh! Jesus Yo, dog, like, come on. I tried Juliet for four years. It didn't work out. Tried her? Is that what he just said? 
I think so. Wait. I tried Juliet for four years. But like when you date people, I don't know, you still care about them right. to an extent where it's like, but with them, I think it's more sometimes, no? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. We do not. Just to answer my question, Alex, do you still want to be with Alyssa or not? Like, where do you stand? I mean. What happened last night? Is anyone going to ask more about last night? Touchy subject. I know. Look, Julia, maybe, maybe, right person, definitely wrong time. I gotta keep my, I gotta keep my distance. The whole reason of me being so apprehensive of them, like, being in Nashville is because I think I am, like, falling for him. I'm about to finish this semester with law school. I don't have time for a girlfriend. I'm so you're dating fun. Alyssa. I mean, like, fully, like, commit, like, 100%. Okay. You're having fun. Okay, so you haven't fully to committed um, to her? I'm still in love with Juliet. <laughs> Coming up. Interesting you're leaving out Juliet, though. You haven't really mentioned much about her. Why would I bring up Juliet? Like, every time I bring her up, it just turns into a fight. Sketchy. Oh, jeez. Whoa, she just looked like Robbie there. Mm, she did. <laughs> the white hat. Mm. Yo, yo. They survived. I'm, you guys I'm somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. All right. Nashville ready? got the best of me, guys. Nashville got the best of me. I'm about Can to fall asleep in the Uber. But so honestly, guys, it was a good trip. We all got along yeah, pretty thanks well. Thanks for inviting us, Brandon. I agree. Yeah, for sure. They Some people coming. got laid. <laughs> now let's go home. Hey. Does she live there? She's working out. Yeah. She works I don't out really there. know Alyssa, but I would be pretty pissed if my boyfriend spent a weekend with his ex in Nashville. How was it? How was Nash? Nobody calls I it mean, that. It was fun. And Are you it's sure? not like he could yeah. avoid her since she's pretty much made herself at home at the Compo Mansion. Right when I got there, we went like. They don't call it the Compo Compound. They should. They, bet they do. And if they haven't thought about that. They should be arrested. Axe throwing and then. That was really, that was thrilling. It's pretty crazy. Oh, uh, axe throwing? Yeah. We went to Gigi's what did he say? That was thrilling? Mm -hmm. but like, me and Paul kind of got into it, which was embarrassing. Um, overall, like, I'm glad I was only there for Check two days. Check a You're saying you're leaving out Juliet, though. Like, you haven't really mentioned much about her. Sketchy. I mean, why would I bring up Juliet? Like, every time I bring Anytime up anyone shrugs their shoulders, like, they're lying. You think so? I mean, look at this. Sketchy. I mean, why would I bring up Juliet? Like, every time I bring mm -hmm. her up, it just turns into a fight and you get all pissed off and stuff. It's like, it's clearly a sore subject, so I'm not gonna like rub it in your face. But it's, it's just sketchy. Like, did you guys spend time together at all? We did. We did. We did. We did. Yeah, of course we did. <laughs> of course we did. Of course we're all I didn't there. Think you, yeah, but I'm talking about just you two. Only one time me and Juliet hung out individually. Okay, well, I don't like that. His lip cut keeps moving all over the place. Yeah. First the bonfire, then Nashville, to have one-on-one -on -one time, whatever you did. Like, I don't like you guys being friends. She clearly has feelings for you still. Look, I, I can't control her feelings. All I can say is that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, and it's over with. Okay. You look good. Feels like just the beginning of something. Oh my god, she bought that? You look good. 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 Mm. Ew! Ew! Call the police! Oh, got it. Oh. Ooh, she was just trying to have sex. Call the sex police. Call, call, call the corny police. Call someone. She was like, did you cheat on your girl? No, I'm like, no, 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 it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Okay. People don't want to see it. People don't want to know. Yeah, she doesn't want to know. Mm -mm. She's like, I like having my own home champ. I was Nashville. 
What is that tattoo? It was so much fun. It was me. Did a little too much partying, though. Did you? you still behave yourself? Always. Julia and I kind of got into it. Alex and I were getting along really well. And honestly, it felt good. Like, we've been friends for longer than anybody. And I think she just got, like, really jealous about that. Yeah. I'm just getting tired of, like, her and Alex. You know how they go back and forth. I told Alex straight up that I don't think Juliet's the right person for him. Well, if she didn't like that, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, if you don't want to be with him, why do you care? Yeah. So it's like, obviously, she's defending it because there's something there. Still a chance in her mind, she feels like. That, yeah. And then you're discouraging him from the future with her, basically, is probably yeah. how she feels. Juliet can't handle hearing the truth. But yeah. it's, why is that my fault, though? Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat things for her just because she can't handle it. That's yeah. not, I mean, that's not what she said. Yeah. Juliet, the fakest bitches I ever met. So. Really? Chloe and Juliet frustrate me more than any two friends I've ever had. It's almost like they're giving me an ultimatum. Like, you either pick Juliet's side or you pick Alex's side. Like, I don't like ultimatums. Well, I mean, who do we, like, have the most fun with and spend the most time with? Alex and Alyssa. Yeah. All I have to say is Juliet and Chloe need to stop pissing me off because it's like, really? Am I the right person to come at like that? You know me. Was that a reference to her violent past? Like, am I the right person to mess with? Maybe, because she's you, not going to, like, back down. No, break her nose. I feel like one day I'm just going to snap, and I really don't want that to happen, but... Yeah. Sounds like you want to tap so. Keep poking the bear. Yeah, we don't need another broken nose. Or do we? Yeah, she, like, wears that like a badge of honor. Uh-huh. She's, she doesn't see things right. Where yeah. is it? I don't want to answer it. You have to. As a ass. Madison. Oh, Pelican Island. That thing. That's what you chose. I thought I could keep this secret to myself, but it's eating I like that workout top. I remember being in Alyssa's Noted. shoes. I literally walked in with him sleeping with a girl. And I really wish someone had told me the truth. Don't I owe her that much? Yes. Who did she have? Honestly. Alex, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm the phone right now. If you can please leave a brief message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. That was a concise, okay, outgoing message. So, I've been thinking and I feel really guilty about everything that happened in Nashville. Don't blow up your life. And I'm trying to give you the opportunity to tell her so that I don't have to. I think that would be best for everyone. He thought, like, having sex with her would make her happy and then, like, she wouldn't interfere with his relationship. Like, just one of the worst calls of all time. Yeah. Wow. She should be a fitness model. I brought some wine and some fruit. Wow. Some candy. Fruit. Are we having a date right now? We are having a date. I kind of feel like we're, having, we're on a date. One last thing. What? <laughs> Do you remember this little thing? I made this for you. Contained within the 365 jar are 365 handwritten notes. How long did it take you? A lot longer than I thought. How do you have that? After we moved out, it was still there, and I was like, oh, she left it? I'm just gonna hold on to this. Wow. That kind of shows she doesn't really care for Garrett. No, yeah. she doesn't. Oh my god, this is really is it a bad one. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> I love your boobies. <laughs> oh, I my love god. that you're one smart cookie. Aww. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. Super sweet. Oh, it makes me so sad. Like sad, but good now. No, right? it makes me like sad that like I feel like when he gave this to me, I should have been like so much more grateful. I like messed it up the first time, and then I don't ever want to hurt him ever again. Yeah. In Nashville, he was so. Who did she cheat on him with? Alex. Alex. Oh, yeah. 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 Like fun and open, I and I, he was a He's blast. like finally opening it up more than he used to, and like that's why I think I'm like enjoying him so much more is because he doesn't have yeah. a guard anymore. You're Juicy. blaming, blaming yeah. on him, kind of. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Ash. 
I don't want to answer it. You have to. I don't want to. Do it. You need to talk to her. Hello? Hi, baby. Hey, how are you? Yeah, how are you? So how do you answer that question? Yeah, I've been super busy, but um, I'm actually in New York taking a couple meetings and wanted to see if maybe you might want to come up here. I've got a few things that I think we need to talk about. Okay, why can't you just talk to me right now? Yeah, I guess. Good. I will buy you a ticket and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you soon. Bye. What about our engineering I don't know job? What that is. And I know my family has their reservation. I'm kind of hopeful, but what if they never come around? Is he never going to be with me? And then it like is all for. I don't know. Snot. Sunburn. Yeah. Or she's stressed. There's my house. The song does not match Madison. No. <laughs> it's like bad. She's like, just a nice girl. It's for her. Yeah. Yeah. It's you. You, you look so yeah, I'm like, are they friends? I like to look at the people at the other tables because you would never want an empty restaurant. But like if it was empty because you're shooting at 11 a.m. at a bar, you know, you put the crew in. Right. So those like, two could definitely. Yeah, those, those two, two are PAs. PAs. Yeah. Madison's the only person who's stayed in contact with Kara since her super dramatic exit from the key. You guys wanted to know if I was done? I am now. That never happened in any way, you idiot! Apparently, she's been happily living and working in New York and hasn't looked back. Can I get just anything with jalapenos in it? Yes, absolutely. What? Anything with jalapenos? Yeah, what does the waiter do? So do you live around here? Um, I live that way. Okay. I live that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. So do you like use public transportation or? I take the subway to work every day. That is so cool. I took the subway here. Like the rats are new to me. Like, You'll see them? Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm happy in New York. I didn't know if I would be just cause like, I didn't know if New York was for me. So are you seeing anyone? I'm back with my ex. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Garrett actually knew all of what Kara's been doing. They would have been broken up a while ago. What do you mean all of what Kara's been doing? When she was in Jersey, she was hooking up with her ex. Chloe may be a gossiper, but her facts are usually dead on. We were like, have literally been on and off for like eight years. Okay, it's been a really long time. He owns a restaurant. Oh, yeah. He owns a How old is he? He's 26. Dang. Yeah. Sounds very different than Garrett. Like, your yeah. taste is kind of... 26? Is that, that's like old for them? No, Young Tono restaurant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the taste that was off. So, I did talk to him before I came here. Um, he gave me something. 365 notes about Kelsey. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Dear Kara, first off, I want to say thank you for the good times we shared together and all the memories we made from the last year. From our first date at the aquarium to that night in Miami, I knew there was something really special about you. You were my dream girl. When you left, I didn't know what to do. At first, I was mad and I didn't really feel the need to speak to you anymore. But as time passes, you get over things. And in the end, all I want is for you to be happy. So this is me finally letting you go. I hope you find what you're looking for. No matter if we never speak or see each other again, I will always wish the best for you. Love always, Garrett. Nice guy. Mm -hmm. Can we get a smile? Can we get a, oh, that's cute. Sad. Is it sad? A little bit. Yeah, she dumped a guy who really loved her. I think about her. it sometimes and I'm like. Maybe you made a mistake. I was happy in CSDQ with him. 
but I think when it comes to like long term, like we're both just going in such different directions. Yeah. All right, Madison, let me level with you. He's just too poor for me, okay? <laughs> when I see long term, he's not gonna uh, understand Italy. I just want him to find like a nice girl that's going to like be good to him and make him happy and stay with him. So what's, oh, <laughs> he's been hooking up with Kelsey. See, like, like now I'm just gonna game. start getting pissed. Like, don't get pissed. That doesn't surprise me, but like. I think it's not long term. No, he's just like not realistic about a lot of things. Sadly, it is what it is. Yeah, but um. Thanks for flying here to tell me. How is Ish? We haven't talked in like a month, Kara. Oh, so you're not together? No, we're not together right now. I mean, he asked me to move in with him, and I said, like, look, are you, like, do you really mean that? And he said, yes, I really mean that. When I told my whole family, they were against it, and... When things got hard with my family, he was like, all right, I'm out, and then he left. But if he is wanting to get back together, mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna need more of a commitment than just, like, oh, we'll play it day by day. It's like, I need him to say, like, I see it forever with you. I want to hear that from him. She's a real, like, negotiator with her relationships, you know? Like she, yeah. If you want to sleep with me, you need to tell everyone I'm your girlfriend. Which right, I just find out boundaries right. and rules and stuff like that. But, like, there's a little bit of, like, well, what does your heart want? Exactly. You know? Like, a little bit of flexibility with your emotions. Mm, just, like, Everything curious to know what your heart want, but, like, book, not like, step at, by step. Yeah, yeah, what stipulation or ultimatum. Yeah. But at least if it goes badly, that's it, it's done, you know? Yeah. And it's not like I'm gonna be hoping and waiting by the phone anymore. So he just said you're gonna come to New York and we're gonna talk? Yeah. So he's either about to leave you or wake you? He wouldn't buy her yeah. a ticket up to New York uh, yeah, to then to dump, dump her. her. No. So. Not a million bajillion. Yeah. For us, my lady. <laughs> no. Thank you. See, he knows how to treat him. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't. I still can't get over Garrett and Kelsey like hooking that. up in Nashville. And as much as I'm rooting for them, I'm worried they won't be able to move past their not so perfect history. You look nice. Thank you. Yeah. We both got the pastels going for us. Yeah. Like a light purple. Light. Isn't it like lilac or something like that? Like velvet or something. Velvet? I don't know. Velvet's a material. <laughs> Well, like, I don't know, yeah. Oh, Violet? Yeah. Violet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll get I got it mixed up. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. How far we've come. Uh, you should DM him, Annie. Mm. I think he's, like, married or something. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, my Holy God. Shit. Where do we go? Oh, Sweet. my gosh. Yeah. What is this? Sushi Thank boat. you for taking me on this. Hold on. You don't know how to do it. It's been a while. <laughs> what, since you've used like chopsticks? Are these two like in fifth grade? Burn. <laughs> the non chopsticks users are going to come for you. I mean, I don't, comments. I shouldn't talk because I don't use chopsticks. Oh, <laughs> I'm warming the whole, the, the conversation, the, yeah, the whole thing is very much like, where are your parents? Uh. I don't know, like, I mean, I must say I've learned a lot this past year being with Kara. Like, she definitely taught me a lot in terms of, like, how to be patient. Because she was the hardest girl that I've ever had to, like, deal with. I mean, it was like, she was never happy. No matter what I did, like, you know me, like, I'm always, like, just go with the flow, like, happy, like, That's why it honestly around. made me sad to see you with her. You weren't the Garrett that's happy. I feel like last time I tried talking again it was when i was doing a lot with my mom's health and living at home and then and then ended up going to la it was not the time at all for you and i to try things out yeah like, well no well, what well, what well. okay let's see what you would get to say that wasn't just what happened no there's more there's a lot more I agree. Drunk? Yeah, I like it. You certainly would have been okay with all of that. Shut up, I know what you're gonna get at. 
First off, let me name some things. Alex. <laughs> I am so hot. Want to go inside? Jacob, you got a new boyfriend? Yeah. Why would you do that you when you had something so good? I'm 20 years old. I make mistakes. You put me in some pretty shitty situations. I did. I did. Okay. And I've owned up to it, and I'm sorry. Have you owned up to it? I appreciate you saying that, because, you know, it has been, you know, two years since we actually have sat down and, like, genuinely like had like a conversation like about it so yeah. I just a lot of genuinely genuine genuine which is nice well cheers to us and getting over our differences from our past so far we're just writing chapter one <laughs> maybe we'll see what a is chapter, chapter two. one titled how to redeem an old relationship <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you're, you're, this is chapter two. Like, chapter one was the past. And also, Kelsey, don't put him on the spot, okay? Will you lay it all on me now? Lay it all on me now. Lay it all on me now. Washington Square okay. Park. Oh my god, whoa. <laughs> but, like, then again, you know, just do whatever you want. Uh huh. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Curious what we're doing here. Madison and Ish's relationship went on an emotional roller coaster this summer. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Her dad wouldn't give his blessing. You do not have my approval on this. You don't. I think it's a mistake. Too old. Then Ish proposed something unexpected. One thing about. But her family's reaction... Don't look for a rubber stamp here. I don't think it's in your best interest. Made him think twice. I just don't think we should be together. Got it. So that's what this is. I wanted you to, to meet me here so that we could talk. And I haven't talked to you in a few weeks, month or so. Yeah, I'm well aware. I wanted to give you space to talk to your family and work through some of that. Well, I mean, I definitely got space. I'm just curious why this conversation couldn't have happened, like, over the phone. Because like, I wanted to see you when I told you that I loved you. I love you, and I want you to come to LA. That's why I brought you here, because I want to know where you're at. In our time away from each other, I've thought a lot about what my future looks like. And, you know, I know I want to do acting. But I've always known that... I don't think you do acting. No. I don't want to act. I want to act. I don't want to be an actor. I want to be a mom. And that is my biggest dream. And I'm scared because I don't know if that's like what you want, if that's in the cards for you. He definitely wants it. Do you see a forever with me? Little issues? Issues running around? Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> I think. Having yeah. a family with you would be amazing. Aww. Dog and a cat and all that stuff. I love you. So why did he break up with her in the first place? To give her space to deal with her family. The family didn't come around. No. That outfit was cray cray, Madison. Cray cray. But go for it, girl. <laughs> go for it, girl. She's like running to beat up Alyssa. She's holding on to the secret. Anyone know this song? Nope. Hey, 
Hooking up with Alex in Nashville was a mistake. Duh. And the secret is eating me up inside. Duh. I have to do the right thing. Tell Kelsey. I should have never gone to Nashville. Oh, what happened? It's a great episode. I really messed up this time. What do you mean? Take guess. I hooked up with Alex. This is good TV making too. Like, you don't need a whole scene, just have her tell her. Mm -hmm, it was great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that better. I have full body chills. I hooked up with Alex. Yeah. And then now's the whole scene. Big. Should have ended the episode. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jules, why would you do that? Oh, I think I did it that. to like, prove to myself that it was never me. He's going to do this to anybody. Yeah, She's not he's special. just a piece of Really honest though. Does anyone else know? Um, Chloe knows. So everyone knows? Yeah, <laughs> Chloe knows too. And if I'm going down, she's going down with me. No. You can hide, but I can see through your disguise. Oh, she's like, I don't want the judgment right now. Just like just give me a help hug. me get through this. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh. 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 How was it? I just don't even know where to begin. There's so much crazy stuff that went down. Tell me. Nothing bad though, I promise. What? How can she say that? Oh my God. That was a what? real good lie. Yeah. That was No shameful. shoulder move. Was Alex and Julia ever alone on this trip? Did they talk? Like, did they flirt? Like, no, I wouldn't say flirting. I think they were just like all being friendly. Are you just trying not to make me mad? No, why? I don't just tell me. No, I would tell you. I would tell you. She closed her eyes when she said, I would tell you. It's fun to try and like pick up on people's lying tells. Mm -hmm. The first night he got there, it was six in the morning and it happened. Oh, we got there the first night? It happened again the next day. What? The next day. Not just once. The morning after it happened. So the morning after the first time it happened. Yeah. yeah. We were like, oh my God, people are gonna find out. Like, what do we do? So we're like, okay, well, we're gonna wake up early and we're gonna go get breakfast. And so we walk into Chloe's room and we're like, hey, um, we thought we'd like go have like breakfast as friends, like all together again. <laughs> and she's like, you think I don't know you two? I heard it all. Yeah, I know she hasn't said anything like to anyone yet. <laughs> we'll just wait. I get like you guys have this friend group, but like whatever the f it is, I still don't think it's right. I don't think they should even be f talking. I have to be right. <laughs> you do. And I would hope that you would have my back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get one thing very clear. I hate Alex and Juliet together. And I have never liked Alex more as a human being than I like him when he's with you. Yeah, and? I promise, I promise. So what, so what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, take a big sip. Oh Lord, the nostril <laughs> action. More. So we went to breakfast, just three of us. At breakfast, Alex says to Chloe, I'll literally buy you anything you want if you keep your mouth shut. And Chloe goes, Birkin I bag. Celine bag. Celine bag. So Alex whips out his card. She goes on her phone. That's just straight up uh, blackmail. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chloe. I know you watch, but you just blackmailed him and like, I'm not writing for you. <laughs> this is shocking. Alex like I'm Chloe's watching it for the first time. Money, it's a hush bag. Oh my God. That's awful. Like, oh, to keep my mouth shut, you had to buy me a saloon bag. But what about Juliet? Yeah, where's her bag at? <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think Juliet's gonna take it, but like, it doesn't work if just one people, one person, like Juliet's gonna tell. What does it mean for you and Alex? Um, I don't know. I really have no idea. I like, how'd you end it in Nashville? Or the last time you talked? We ended it good. It was like how it used to be. Don't look at me. Can't wash away your sins, bro. Oh my God, hopefully next scene, the first scene is her, oh, three months later. Is this a finale, Annie? Oh, I mean mid-season. 
Oh yeah, I mean, they said next week mid-season finale. We were like oh, mid-season right, finale. Right. Like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, oh. 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 No. Oh. Nah. Please. She's pregnant. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, good cliffhanger. Good cliffhanger. Coming up on Siesta Key. I just love you, Alyssa. Cheers to love. Mm, they are great having cheers. You, baby. I'm worried. I want you to be treated the way you deserve. All right, he thinks that he can do anything he wants and get away with it, but she deserves to know. I fed your boyfriend in Nashville. I don't believe you. Multiple times. I don't want to talk about it. Okay? Well, we're talking about it. I don't know where your head's at. Long like distance that. sucks. Damn. Multiple girls are telling me you're trying to f another girl. Are you or are you not? I'll double her, yeah. Did you do something? Kind of. You there's so Selena. bad over me. I miss being around you. Well, I miss being around you too. You can go move on. It's fine. I know how you are. Then what the f are you doing here? I'm leaving. You're yeah. You have a baby. You would risk all that for Juliet. This is a real sign. Alex and I were never meant to be. And it's time for me to move yeah. on. Cheers to the new kingdom! Cheers! Yeah. Yeah. Sam. Get ready for Sam. Getting good. I mean, it's been good. It's been good. It's, it's been, been good. good. But have, Alex is about to be a dad, they which have is a scary. Run. Alex is about to be kicked off the show. Mm -hmm. But it's still good after he's gone because mm -hmm. Sam comes in. But they're, they're in like, and I don't know what this season is like, but I feel like it's three seasons of like very good. Real drama. Hot and heavy drama. Only mm. really rivaled in my mind right now by the early seasons of Vanderpump Rules, which just like went for straight up like, I don't know if it starts slow, but as soon as the drama goes, it goes real for like five seasons mm -hmm. and is intense. That was great. That was great. It was a great episode. Great drama. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> He's really jazzed. Should we shout out the OG? Yes. Jizz? Yes. <laughs> All right. Mick Cooper, one, two, a. Yeah. What's up with you? Number two, Haley and Justin Phillips, who we accidentally shouted out another time. Lucky you. Well, we have a couple or a sibling pair. All right, Abby Mickelson. Nice. Number four, CT, common regular, very funny person. Not the challenge CT though. We don't know. Oh. At five, Yvette Guevara. I recognize her name. Okay, Julie Ann Manuel, or Manuel. Either way. Seven, Corinne. Classic, see him in the chat all the time. Eight, Julia Sardinha. All right, now number nine, Samantha Kukla. 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 And last but certainly not least, number 10, Joanna Mesquita. Thanks right. for being OG members. If you want to be an OG member, join. If you don't, just continue on with your life. All right, everyone's jazz for previously. Everyone, jazz maker. She's off the rails. All right, love you guys. She's hot.